I am starting with a three quarter inch angled brush and a light blue, it's a little um, icy turquoise blue. And I'm just going to do a band here on my daughter's forehead, getting a little thicker in the middle and tapering down at the end. She's already really excited as you can see. And then since I have that blue on my brush, I'm also going to start on the necklace and I'm just going to do a larger teardrop shape in the center of her neck and then two more on um, either side of that just a little bit smaller but the exact same shape and of course it's easy to do this when you have the color on your brush um, you save a lot of time especially if you're at an event not washing out your brush and going back and forth so Now I am taking a mixture of metallic gold and some regular yellow and I'm going to start with the petals. If you've looked at Tiana's crown, she in the movie and in the cartoon, she's wearing it quite at the very, very top of her head. So it's hard to make this perfectly accurate, but it um, this is kind of how I decided to do it to get the look and in the end it turned out pretty well. So just doing a larger, um, kind of a rounded tear shape petal in the middle and then two on either side. And I am pretty much going right over the band. There wasn't a, not a ton of room um, on little kids' foreheads to do this. So I ended up going over the band and then I, I didn't like it. You'll see I go back over it here just because I want that blue to pop out. So not a problem. I still had the paint on my brush. So just going right back over it so that that blue is just a little bit more predominant because it's a pretty predominant um, color on her crown. Now I'm going to go back to the necklace and I am going to just take lines of gold to connect the beads that I've made and then do a few flicks just going around her neck. This is a nice thing to do too when you're doing princesses. Do a couple quick gems on a little girl's neck and it's kind of added fun and they really like it. So now I'm taking a medium brown and I'm going to do the center lines and the, the flowers on Tiana's crown have kind of a depth line going through the petals. So I'm going to do that first and you can see just down the middle of each, each petal, pretty straight line. Now I'm going to take a filbert brush with some creamy white and yellow and I'm going to go over the petals again and this is going to kind of create a natural shadow and depth doing this in layers rather than doing the white first um, and right now those lines look really really predominant but you'll see in the end they're going to get dulled down by the layers and the highlights that I put in the petals. So while I still have that light color on my brush, I'm just going to go straight down to the little gems on her necklace, do a, a line on one side and a dab on the other, it just makes it look more like beads. So really simple. Um, there's also kind of little, I don't even know how to describe it, little kind of like tufts coming out of Tiana's crown, little blue lines with kind of dots at the top. So I'm just creating a few of those and then doing a nice big round dot at the top to get that look. And now that I have that white um, on my brush from doing those little round dots I'm going to go in and highlight again over the petals and then on the blue of the crown as well and I'm adding just a little bit of a detail at the bottom there just to bring it all together just a few teardrops right at the base of that um, larger center petal and some sparkles. You can't go wrong with adding little starbursts 
um, especially in pretty girl designs, just kind of makes everything look like it's sparkling and twinkling and especially with a princess. So I'm going to add those mainly to the side of the band of the crown and then I'm going to put one on each of the stones on her necklace as well. And then I'm also going to highlight that gold um, band I did for the, the chain for her necklace just so that it's more prominent and you can see it a little bit better because that, that gold is pretty but it tends to disappear on a lot of skin tones. So here I'm just going over a little bit of that dark um, shadow line in the crown because I really don't want them to be too predominant. And now I am taking a nice shimmery um, pink and I really like using those, <laughs> she likes this of course, those petal sponges to do this. You can kind of get into the crease of um, a kid's eye and then just pat it with the other side and it gives a really nice pretty eyeshadow without getting too close to the eye. She obviously is really really liking that. And now I'm just going to give her some red lipstick because she requested it. I'm not even sure if Tiana has red lipstick on but um, you know little girls always like the lipstick and mine is no exception. <laughs> She also likes to help me a lot, so yeah. Um, you can see she's pretty happy with the way this looks, but she wants glitter, so I love these little spray um, bottles too. So I spritzed it with some glitter, and then I also gave her a little bit of pink blush, which I did not do on camera, but um, she was pretty happy with this. I think it's a pretty good interpretation of the Tiana crown, which is a little difficult to do, but um, yeah, but really cute. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like this and I'll see you guys next time.